Hey guys, I know it's been a minute, but I just wanted to go ahead and give you guys a huge thank you for blowing up the last video. And I know it was kind of an odd one, but I do appreciate you guys taking a look at that. I was really happy to be able to kind of show some of those Instagram photos with you guys. I'm really kind of proud of, of where that's going. Right now, what this video is actually about is about Super Blast Sunstreaker. Now, I was just kind of messing around with Ironworks and Sunstreaker, especially since, you know, yellow and black are their main colors, so I think they look good together. But if you guys saw on the main channel, we were actually mentioning this adapter that was used on the Paradron Medic for attaching COG to her back and everything. And whenever I was using it in conjunction with this, I thought, well, this actually looks kind of cool because if you guys wanted to do this configuration, it's not as complex as you might think because this is essentially COGS back in robot mode. So all you would need to do is turn the hips up to where it would bring the legs kind of touching this back panel right here. And then you would position the legs to where the gray part would be facing down on both sides. And essentially at that point, what you do is, is you take this arm that actually you can either have the hand hold it or it can plug into that post, which I think with the hand facing down and having it plugged onto that post, it disguises the fact of it being an arm a little bit better. And then what you would do is you would make sure to have this kind of sit off to the side for a second so you could position the crane arm into this place with the port facing the outside and then you just take that deal so that instead of just having one cannon and one like random hook thing hanging over her shoulders, they're both legitimately cannons. Now, one of the reasons I like, oh, one more thing before I forget, is this piece right here was kind of left over. So just to hide this, I just attached it and folded it down like that. And then of course for the weapon, I just put this right here to get it out of the way. Now, one of the reasons I like this is because it doesn't look like he's just holding them up. To me, it also kind of looks like maybe he's got like two, you know, gun grips and he's literally firing them manually with his hands and stuff, which I think that's kind of cool. But I thought, you know, this place up here, right here above the, between the cans looks a little bit empty. Well, the only piece of ironworks that was left out was this right here. So once we go ahead and put that on there, I put it on here to not only preserve as maybe more protection for his head and everything, but I thought that if this comes over his head and obscures his view, what if this was a HUD or a heads up display that offers him greater targeting accuracy for the two over the shoulder cannons? And honestly, I've always thought of this as kind of like a, a monster head for whenever like just ironworks was crawling around in crab mode. And so to kind of have it over sideswipe, it looks really very droid like. And I just I just kind of like this look and I, I wanted to share it with you guys. Anyway, if you guys haven't, please make sure to check out the video before we actually, it's very Instagram heavy, but we also take a look at generation, my custom generation two hubcap. And we kind of take a brief overlook at the animated shockwave as well. So anyway, guys, until next time, maximize.